Some Nate students went trick-or-treating to try and scare away hunger. Our Connor Toffin has more on that story. While most people go trick-or-treating for Reese's and M&M's, some Nate volunteers weren't looking for candy, but rather canned beans and other non-perishable food items. With food going to the Nate's Food Center, volunteers like Shay Jana felt great about helping people get food that may not be able to afford it. Because I'm an international student and I come all the way from Morocco, so just seeing the difference in how people like live here and how people are living in my country. I see that like when you help people, you help yourself first. Less fortunate students can apply to get two food hampers a month and each hamper can last about three to five days. Volunteer coordinator Alexa Prince hopes that the food gathered can last the Nates of Food Center until Christmas. We see a really big need for the food every year and there's always students that students and their families that could use food items so that's, that's a big motivation to just collect more and give them more options. In the event's fifth straight year, some volunteers felt pretty fulfilled with the generosity of the people that donated. Yeah, there's like one lady give us like a bunch of apples. Oh, yeah. there's a whole bag of apples. apples and then like, there's oh one, one guy, he just gave us like a box of crop dinner, which is, I'm so jealous. Like, I want it. After Nate's trick-or-treat event this year, they have filled the basement with bags of food. Last year, they set a 2,000 pound food mark, but this year, I think they might have a beat. Connor Toffin for Nate News Watch.